Transformations with the tangent function are just like sine and cosine. However, sometimes it can feel a bit awkward since the period is different and the graph is a bit more complex. First, let's address the period of a tangent function. We already determined the period of tan of x to be pi, but what if we have a coefficient inside the brackets? Similar to sine and cosine, we simply take the period of tan of x, which we determine to be pi, and divide that by the coefficient. For example, given the function tan of 6x, the period will be pi over 6, because the coefficient inside the brackets is 6. Now that we've covered period, everything else is essentially the same. However, the way we tackle these problems may seem slightly different. Let's try an example. Graph 3 tan of 2x plus 1. Splitting this up into parts, let's find the period first. So as we now know, period is equal to pi over n. Since our coefficient is 2, we get a period of pi over 2. So what does this mean for our graph? Well, if we remember the graph of tan of x, we had asymptotes every pi over 2 along the x-axis. So if our period is shrunk by 2, we now have asymptotes at pi over 4, the graph repeating every pi over 2. So let's draw those asymptotes on the graph. Now we have the vertical transformation. Unlike sine and cosine, we don't have a minimum and maximum that we can just slap this coefficient onto. Let's think back to our table of values. Remember that tan of pi over 4 was equal to 1? That seems like a nice, easy starting point to draw in our graph, and if you have trouble finding this point, you can use the following trick. If we always perform our horizontal transformation first, we can find the halfway point between the x-intercept and the asymptote. The y-value at this point will always be equal to 1. So, now that we know where 1 is, we need to multiply this point by 3, because we have a vertical transformation of 3. So, we move this point up, and there we have it, done with the transformations. Let's fill in the other points on the graph before we apply the final vertical shift. The negative point will be the same, just mirrored about both axes. Finally, let's apply that one point shift upwards. I like to just look at these three main points, where y equals 0, y equals negative 3, and y equals 3, and apply the shift to there. Then we can redraw the graph accordingly.